If you like to watch animated series like myself, or if you just watched cartoons when you were a kid, you've probably heard of the show Ben 10. I'd be really surprised if you say you haven't heard of the show, as the franchise is still going and is super popular. It's done over $6 billion in retail sales, and it even has its own TikTok trend. The show I'm going to be talking about today, however, is the original series. It's centered around Ben Tennyson, who finds an alien watch that allows him to turn into different alien creatures slash heroes. The purpose of this video essay is to talk about why this show, in my opinion, is underrated and genius. Anyways, in my opinion, there's three main reasons. Those three reasons are going to be the story, the writing, and the characters. There's a great sense of continuity that you don't see in shows from the early 2000s. And if you don't know what I mean by this, I just mean that there are things in earlier episodes that will affect future episodes. The no voice projector? I thought we left that back in the plumber's bunker at Mount Rushmore. A more specific example of this is seen with the Ghost Freak storyline. In Season 2, Ghost Freak escapes from the watch and Ben has to defeat him. And then in Season 3, two villains that we meet are a mummy and a wolf. And then the Season 3 finale deals with those three teaming up and it actually makes for a really good episode. Some of the best episodes are based purely on the fact that this show has great continuity. The Season 2 finale of the show is by far the best episode. It's titled Back with a Vengeance. Just through the course of events that happen in the show, Vilgax and Kevin Eleven, both villains from season one, cross paths and t decide to team up and try to take down Ben and get the watch. The fact that these two can meet each other through just the general progression of the story is really interesting and they both make amazing adversaries for Ben alone, so them teaming up is just a, a great episode. And the last part for the story aspect is just the Omnitrix. This is just a genius idea, creatively. The device is like a combination of like the sci-fi genre and the standard stereotypical superhero genre. The idea that the main protagonist can transform in some way, shape, or form in a show or movie is nowhere near a new concept, but the space and alien portion of it just takes it to a different level and kind of distinguishes it from the standard hero TV show or movie. The second aspect of why this show is genius is the writing. So many of the episodes in this show are so memorable. I haven't watched this show in 12 years, and when I restarted this show about a month or two ago, I remembered pretty much every single episode. There were only a handful that I didn't really care for. I don't think they're bad, I just don't think they're as good as the other ones. And even then, they don't bring down the show as a whole. There's so much room for creativity in this show, and the writers fully use it to their advantage. Also, I'm editing this video in post right now, and I totally forgot to add this, but I love when the show does this. I think it looks so awesome, and it adds so much to the art style. It feels like almost any question or what-if scenario that you could come up with your head has an episode that kind of dives into that topic. One of my favorite examples of this is the Gwen 10 episode from season 2. The best way I could probably describe the episode is like the movie Groundhog Day. Basically, Ben wakes up, he doesn't have the Omnitrix, and his cousin and grandpa have no knowledge of anything he's talking about. They're taken back to the first day of summer, and Gwen ends up with the Omnitrix, and we see how events would unfold if she got the Omnitrix instead of Ben. Another great episode is the season 4 premiere, which is titled Perfect Day. The premise of this episode is that everything's just going perfect for Ben. He talks to some girls, he wins some arcade games, but a large amount of people come to him and tell him that he's not living in a reality. He's asleep and he needs to escape. The best part about this episode is just how trippy it is. You're in the same shoes as Ben in that you don't know what's happening and you're kind of following that journey with him. Also the Ben 10,000 episode, one of the best. And the last aspect I'm gonna talk about with this show is the characters. The one thing the show does an amazing job of is having relatable characters. This show really nails what it feels like to be a 10 year old, whether that be just the constant immaturity or fighting with his cousin, Ben just actually feels like a genuine 10 year old. The fact that the average viewer of the show at the time was one male and two a child was super advantageous for Cartoon Network and they totally knew it. You can't tell me if you watched this show that you didn't have or want one of these Omnitrix toys. I myself, like millions of other kids at the time, just wanted to be Ben 10. Also, the sense of family that develops over the four seasons is amazing. Ben and Gwen go from hating each other and calling each other dweeb to actually having some character depth and emotional moments. For the most part, the villains are all memorable and enjoyable to watch. Vilgax is one of them, of course, being Ben's arch nemesis. I would say Vilgax is probably my second favorite villain. First would probably be Ghost Freak. In the original continuity, we have four seasons of the show, an animated movie, a live action movie, and multiple video games. I'm not really sure why this show ended after only four seasons after it was super successful. Maybe they wanted to target a different demographic with an older Ben. I do think this show is underrated and not talked about enough today. I think part of that is just because there's been so many versions of the character in the franchise since the original series. Overall, this show is super underrated and I think it is genius. Thank you for watching.